Hi, this is Dave from Cradle of Filth, and you're watching Riot Radio TV. not FCC regulated you can talk as comfortably as you like about any subject um, and you talk uh, about football you talk about football or is that would be soccer for you yeah uh, NFL. no real football uh, are you the uh, Redskins fan right on uh, you roll you rolling well, you didn't answer the question. do you do it NFL? No, it was for the no this is for extreme sports like skateboarding BMX all right no, it's for a TV show well, this okay. this actually is being filmed for a television show, and it's kind of a side project that we're doing. We do the radio show right. once a week, and then we got this TV show that he's been building up. So, all right, we're back. It's Riot Radio TV. We finally scored Dave, Cradle of Filth. Uh, it took a while, and I know the guys are getting ready to start off their, uh, well, actually, already on the Headbangers Ball Tour. How's that going so far? Uh, pretty good. We've been there nearly, what, uh, over a week now. Uh, the band's are great. Just came from Orlando. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, you know. it's turned into a bit of a blur right now. It's a blur, right? Yeah, right. Well, you guys had another tour just before that, didn't you? Uh, that was South America. Man. South America. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> down in South America, they go wild, huh? Well, you know, you get fans camping outside the hotel, uh, lots of security, riot police, you know, tear gas while you're playing. Riot police. It's, it's totally different. What yeah. about uh, some of the fans? I know I saw some of the kids that are waiting out front here, kind of. And of course, if you haven't been uh, acclimated to the Cradle of Filth, they do the whole face paint and everything. It's it's quite a performance. A lot of uh, a lot of visual stimulation going on. And the fans they get into it too. Have you uh, run across any really over the top fans? Yeah. <laughs> where where would they, where would they? Uh, uh, yeah. the, 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 the pop up all, all over the place. Yeah. But for one example, like uh, we got off the bus and this girl ran over and handcuffed herself to mine, the keyboard player. For, uh, that was it. Just, I swallowed think, uh, the key. Yeah, I avoided it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was uh, questionably a bit underage. <laughs> now there's the question that you guys have a lot of younger fans. I know at some of your venues they do have an age limit, and that uh, yeah. that kind of does a lot to, to weed out a lot of your fans. But uh, the kids seem to be really receptive. Yeah. And it's, it's an all ages thing. I think it kind of spans. You know. Yeah, I saw some moms, some milfs out there in line. I signed some older breasts. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> um, you do as you, you know, requested. Yeah. So uh, now, where where do you guys get the biggest following? Of course, at home in England. Um, over here in America, you got a huge following. Yeah. But wh what are your favorite fans, uh, most receptive audiences? I like America because they speak English. I and mean, when you go over to like Europe, a lot of kids come over and they're trying to communicate with a bit of barrier. You know? mm -hmm. Not that they're not into random, but you know, it's e America's easier mm -hmm. for us. And, I like America, it's a consumerist thing, and obviously I like football, so it's like everything's here for me. So the Redskins, <laughs> all about the skins, huh? Not really, no, not doing very well, are they? <laughs> no, not this year. Um, also, I to understand that you uh, collect a lot of Star Wars characters. Yeah, yeah so you, you're into that, to do the comic book thing as well? Yeah, I mean, we try and get out some days, get to stores, and it's a bit difficult when we get out late, and sort of drive it to take us out. It's, I don't know where we are in the city right now, but mm -hmm. we're too far to go anywhere, so obviously get dark always. <laughs> right. We blew it What's one of your favorite series? What, comic series? Mm -hmm. Um, I like Dantic's stuff that he's doing, you know, the variety of labor. Mm -hmm. It's more extreme. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like Bernie Wright's. Um, 
maybe the Frankenstein but No, you're you an artist yourself? I used to be. Yeah. I mean my talent is to play, but I'm trying to be a musician that wants to be a writer. Right. So I'm a bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> what uh what other type of sports are you into? Uh, uh not really. Just football. Just watching the football, yeah. You, know, yeah. you toss the ball around yourself? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ball back finally. Right on. The guys should think someone to around. Cool. It's good for doing exercise. <laughs> well, how about on the bus? Uh, I know you're on long tours. Uh, how do you get your exercise? You don't. You don't. Well, I can't tell you. <laughs> you can imagine. How oh, is that on a sexual nature? Yeah. Oh, yeah? I mean, the bus, I mean, the, the, the bed's like the size of a coffin, so not much is going to happen. Yeah, you're not going to move around a whole lot. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> tell us about uh, how the uh, Headbangers Ball Tour has been treating you. And then, of course, you're uh, on the new album, uh, Nymphetamine. I had to practice that one a few times. Yeah. Uh, it's also going to appear on the Resident Evil Apocalypse it's movie out, soundtrack. Yeah, it's, that's out already. Yeah, it's out already. So, uh, it's good exposure there. Yeah. And uh, now on this new album, how's it changed since some of your earlier stuff? It kind of follows on from an idea that we had from the record before, where we wanted to try to simplify things a little bit. Um, and the album before we got the orchestra and the lost the guitarist, so we kind of lost the plot. But this time we got a new guitarist and James. And I to lay off the keyboards a little bit more and it, be, it became a lot clearer, like simplified. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit easier to take. I got a, I got a question about that, that new video. I've been watching the hell out of it. Okay. But, you know, I had to do it and I got it. But, 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 she bands candy? Yeah, Miss Christine. The girl with the bomb hair is uh, called Liz Christine, she's from a band called Lee's Eyes. They just got signed to Rogan as well. Um, and she's a very, I mean, it was a, we did a demo of some singers and she was the best one and we just sort of invited to do it. Um, and then she decided to come over to the video, which is really cool. Yeah. But she didn't want to tour with us, she's got a baby and she's married and stuff, so we used it Sarah, you know, the girl with the bomb hair you might have seen kicking around. Mm -hmm. Sarah's, Sarah does her version of it, she's got the same.